Hi guys, Mel Cutler here. I just wanted to make this quick video for you to experience some amazing business building tips that you can apply right away. I've been a serial entrepreneur and for many of you, you know I've started up six companies, two of them hit seven figures. And when I see a business doing the right thing, when I see a business creating a community around their product or service and achieving financial results that are unheard of in the industry, I want you to know about it. That company I just visited, I'm actually right now, I'm here in Michigan with Kate, my lovely fiance and her entire family. And we just took a trip to a little deli called Zingerman's Deli. Now Zingerman's Delicatessen is an amazing company. Not only do they have a deli that started in 1982 by two gentlemen, Paul Saginaw and Ari Weinswig, they created a deli from nothing. They were two hippies, but they knew that they wanted to bring the best of the best products to the community. They knew that they wanted to find products that were hard to find and educate the community about them and create the deli all about service. And that's exactly what they did. Today, they do over $30 million per year. They've and that's one location with multiple different businesses. They've expanded into a coffee shop. They have an entire village in Ann Arbor that consists of not only a coffee shop, not only delicatessen, but also an ice cream shop. They have some phenomenal things. And when these two ladies walked in, they had one response. It was, wow, this is amazing. I mean, you see products quality meats, cheeses from left to right, all the way throughout. And as soon as you walk in, there's someone there greeting you with a sample. This is building trust immediately. Now their products are high end. I mean, you'll see this mozzarella piece of cheese. Look at how much it is per pound. And look closer. Made by the person's name right there what time she made it at. And you'll see that that right away builds quality, it builds trust, it's being transparent. So let me ask you a few questions right now. How can you be even more transparent in your business? How can you lay everything out about your product and service and say, hey, look, this is it. And how can you bring quality products from all around the world front and center where they can't, your customers can't get it from anywhere else? What about when people first walk in to your business, when they first see you, when they first see your product and service? Is it something, are you projecting what you want or is it something different? Take a look at this. This is phenomenal. This is a picture of Zingerman's, our favorite vinaigrettes. And those little cards you see right there, right here you'll see the peppery peach vinaigrette. This is a secret recipe to one of their dressings. They, Zingerman does, has nothing to hide. They, they're all about building the community. They say, hey, you love our dressing? Here's a recipe, go make it at home. Can you imagine that? For some business owners, that they might ask themselves, well, why would we do that? Why would we give away our secrets? Then they won't come back. Well, look at this line. This line stretches all the way back. People wait in line for a good half hour to place their order. Why? Well, ask yourself, why would somebody wait for you? Why would somebody wait in line for your product or service? As a matter of fact, what would make someone beg desperately, please sign me up for your product or service? Because Zingerman's has created that type of trust and that type of honesty and transparency with their clients that they're back over and over and over. Shelves. What do the shelves look like? Take a look at this shelf filled with honey. See, Zingerman's leads with education. They, selling is serving to them. And what they've done is they've said, look, we will provide you the hard things that you can't find anywhere else. And what we'll do is we will bring it front and center for you and educate you about each product. They do it again with olive oils. Take a look at all the different olives from all different countries, Chile, Argentina, Europe, South Africa, all different countries, they're bringing all these exotic oils where it, they're hard to find items, but they bring them front and center and then they educate their client. 
What's phenomenal, go look at this picture. This is a picture of the courses that they take. You can take courses at Zingerman's for free and learn how to bake, whether it's cookies, whether it's bread, whether it's this or that, you can take courses and that inspires the raving fan community. And then you get a face like this when you sit down to eat. Oh, beautiful, isn't she? All right, guys. Well, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Hopefully, you got some golden nuggets, some really good questions to ask yourself how to do business differently to get a completely different result. If you haven't already, visit me at my blog. I've written some awesome articles. There's some videos up. Might help you grow and continue your education as an entrepreneur. Go to melcutler.me.com. That's melcutler.me.com. And till I see you again, or maybe at one of our live events, take care, bye for now, and be the best you can be. Continue to grow and go out there and make an impact and make a difference. Bye for now.